The challenge is going to be how do you stay cool uh -oh. this weekend? They're cool in Maine right now, so that's probably where they want to be. That's why they traveled up there. Uh, we saw some shower activity pop up for today, and now still tonight, a little bit of rain is on the radar, mainly up towards the north and west. So right now we're dry. The majority of your night will be dry, but then tomorrow morning, it's not a bad idea to have the umbrella close by. Maybe tonight, if you're just about to head to bed, set that umbrella by the door, you know, by, maybe by your briefcase or by anything that you're going to collect for tomorrow morning so you don't forget it because we could have some showers around. Severe weather right now out in the panhandle continues to push. Its way north to south. So, no threat from that. As we go into the evening hours, though, our rain chances they start to go up. And through the weekend, they died back down. But by tomorrow morning, rain chances sitting around 30%. And we're going to see them taper off as we go through the afternoon hours before drying out this weekend. So, let's take a look at where we sit right now with our temperatures. Upper 70s to the low 80s still holding on after we topped out at 89. Some cloud cover has worked its way into parts of North Texas. So overnight tonight, this upper level energy, this little short wave will rotate its way on through. That's that lift provided for these storms to develop overnight and into the morning hours. So tomorrow morning, 5 to 6 o'clock, some scattered showers will be making their way through North Texas and the Metroplex. Could see some isolated storms as well, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, seeing some of that activity pushing its way through and then really dying out as we go into the afternoon hours. But still keep that umbrella close by. We could see some isolated showers and storms try to pop up as we go into the early evening hours. Hours, and then all of that activity tapering off. So highest rain chances probably tomorrow morning. We'll see that taper off through the late morning hours into the early afternoon. 88 to 89 degrees possibly for tomorrow. Maybe some spots at 90. We'll see that mix of sun and clouds and still some rain chances in the afternoon. And for this month, we're up by 1.87 inches, more than three inches of rain so far this month. And remember how we talked about last week, parts of the area were in that moderate drought, but, drought, but since we've seen so much rain, that really has just kind of shrunk down just a bit more and we're just abnormally dry through parts of the metroplex. So we'll add to some of those totals as we go into tomorrow morning. But the other story is how we heat up into the weekend. You see this big kind of just hill right here. That's what we call a ridge of high pressure with the jet stream. So as this starts to build its way to the east going into Saturday into the Sunday, we start to warm up even more. So you're going to be sweating just a bit this weekend. We dry out. We'll see 93 Saturday, Sunday 94. Lots of sunshine on the way. And then our temperatures remain in the mid 90s as we go into next week. Small rain chances on the way. So our average high 90 this time of the year, we're going to be above that for the next seven days.